So before we get into this video, let me take a moment to remind you guys about my Patreon. Now over on Patreon, I have got two tiers. I have a $3 tier and a $5 tier. They are both pretty much the same with a couple of differences. So on the $3 tier, once a month, uh, you not only will you be supporting this channel and helping me grow and getting all of my appreciation, but once a month, I will send you a random card out of my collection of base set, Rocket, Team Rocket, you know, all of that good stuff, uh, Neo Genesis, base set two. For instance, I have this dark gloom here. This could be yours. Um, I have a Charmander out of Team Rocket also. I have this Eevee straight out of, not base set. I don't know what set that's from, but it's one of the sets right there at the beginning. I also have a Charmillion out of base set that I would send you guys. So once a month until that selection runs dry and I would of course cut y'all's Patreons off from that. But once a month, if you're signed up for that $3 tier, I will be sending you a card out of my collection. Also, if you join up for the $5 tier, I will add your name to the end of every video. You'll be mentioned by name so that uh, you know everyone can know how much I appreciate you because I do. So yeah, think about it and the link will be in the description below and let's get into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to go over the Pokemon Players Cup and how to join and how to get those points to get ranked so that you can become one of the top 256 people in America or Canada. So the first thing you're going to need to do is of course pick you out a deck. Now I do not know which deck would be best. Pick a ROM is very consistent, but it's not really that fun to play, but it is very consistent and that is what you need right now. Also you have Turbo Zacian, it does a good job. Mill will be very hard to do in a best of one, um, you know, with a time limit. So it's all up to you and what you want to play. But the first thing you're going to need here is these tickets up here in top right corner. As you can see, I only have five. Now to play in a tournament, you need a total of eight. And to do that, you come over here to events right below versus where you normally play at. Click on that and then come down to the standard tournament right here. Now this uh, event is only held in standard, so you will have to play there. As you can see, it costs eight tickets and uh, you have a variation of rewards here. You can get uh, first place gets three Rebel Clash uh, boosters. Uh, three random boosters and 400 tickets to spend on more boosters. Uh, so real cool, second place you get uh, two Rebel Clash, two random boosters and 200 coins. Uh, third place is one Rebel Clash, one random booster, um, 100 coins and fifth place is one uncommon chest and 50 coins. So pretty cool there. It allows you to get a variation of different things as well as playing in the tournament. So to get uh, for each time you join, I believe it's five points after I want to say for third and fourth place, it's, uh, I want to say eight, seven points. And then after that, it's eight or nine points. So the more you win, obviously, the better you will do, the higher ranks you will become in the tournament. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much. I mean, these coin, these tickets right here, the way you get those is you come over here to Versus. You can win some through the events, but it's very few. But the biggest way is right here through Versus and playing up this ladder board, leaderboard right here, or ladder right here is what it's called, and uh, getting those tickets. Now, it's very grindy and very hard process to do. I was able to get up about 64 coins or 30 something coins, I don't remember. I was able to play four games. That's how many tournaments I was able to join before I ran out of coins. So I am pretty much gonna be out of this entire deal during June, because I know there's quite a few people out there with a lot of coins. So I will probably not be doing that. But yeah, this is how you do it. You come in here, you click on this, you uh, join now. I obviously don't have enough tickets. You pick the deck you want, you enter, and then you play until you um, either win or lose and get dropped out. But yeah, that's pretty much 